Okay, so <laughs> this is really popular right now, and I thought we'd make a mini version. This is great for any kind of quick applique process. You can sew it onto something, you can glue it onto something, like a scrapbook. And I'm going to show you two cool applications for this tiny little sun. Ready? Let's go! Alright, to make this little sun, you need very few supplies. I'm going to make this using a 3mm crochet hook. You need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and this is um, Fentex Merit. It's baby-sized yarn. It's in sort of a baby yellow color, and it is, because somebody asked me the other day, it is three-ply, and it is a very thin little worsted weight yarn, so maybe not even a worsted weight, but not quite a baby weight, somewhere in between. Um, so I'm going to use my three-millimeter crochet hook, and I'm going to start with a slip um, I'm sorry, with a cinch circle. So you take your yarn and you wrap it around your fingers and make a loop. Take your hook, go through the loop, grab the yarn and pull it back, and then chain one, and that secures your circle. Into this circle, we're going to single crochet six. One, two, three. I'm going to cinch it up a little bit. Four, five, six. Now, like a lot of the, the circular patterns I do, this pretty much follows every single other uh, one that I've done. I'm not going to join my row with a slip stitch. I'm just going to conti continue working all the way around. And I'm going to eventually make uh, a circle that's 18 stitches all the way around. So. 6 to 12 to 18. So we start with 6, we double it up by doing two single crochet in each stitch all the way around, and then by the third row, the, t the pattern is two single crochets, one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, all the way around for a total of 18. So I'm just going to fast forward through making the actual circle part, because that part I've done several times before, and the most interesting part is doing these star points. So uh, I will tune you in back uh, just to, as I'm approaching the end of my uh, my last row or my third row. So I'll see you there. 18. Okay, so I'm done my three rows. Uh, cinch circle with six single crochet, uh, followed by row two, which was two single crochet in each stitch all the way around for a total of 12, followed by row three, which was two single crochet, one, two, one, all the way around for a total of 18. So I've finished my center. Now I'm going to start with the points. So I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch and I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So I've slip stitched and chained five. Now I'm going to slip stitch back into the second chain from the hook. So not the first one, the second one. And a slip stitch is just wrap and pull through everything. I'm going to slip stitch into the next chain. I'm going to single crochet into the next chain. And for the last one, which is this one here, I'm going to half double crochet. And that's wrap, go through your loop, wrap the yarn and pull it back so you have three on your hook and then wrap and pull through all three. Into the next stitch along the, the top of my circle, I'm going to slip stitch and try not to split your yarn. That is my first sun point. I'll get my hook out of the way so you can see that. There you go. So now we're going to continue all the way around doing that and each star sort of sun point starts with a slip stitch into the next stitch and then you chain five. One, two, three, four, five. You slip stitch into the second and third chain from the hook. So slip one and slip two. Single crochet into the next. Half double crochet into the next. And then once you get back to the top of your sun, you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch along the top. 
and then repeat. Slip stitch, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Slip stitch into the second and third chains from the top. Single crochet into the next one and half double crochet into the last one. To finish off the star point, you're going to slip stitch into the next stitch along the top of your sun and then repeat the process all over again. And you are going to go ahead and do that all the way around the rest of your sun until you have eight star points, just like this one. And I'll see you at the end. Slip stitch. Okay, so I finished my eighth star point, and I'm just going to slip stitch to finish it off. And there you go, it's all done. Now I've completely finished um, my sunshine. If I wanted to actually sew this down to something, uh, knit, I would leave a nice long tail for sewing it down. Um, the other thing too is that you can also just sew it down with regular thread onto something, like if you're sewing it onto a t-shirt, which I will demonstrate in a very short time. Um, but for now, I'm, I'm going to actually just use thread as this is going to be a regular old um, sunshine. So I'm just going to snip my yarn and then pull it through my last loop to fasten off. And then I'm going to take my trusty little yarn needle and I'm just going to weave my edge in all the way around the back here. And now for something completely different. Meh. Scrapbooking! Ta-da! I told you guys I was going to show you two neat ways to use this sunshine applique and we're going to start here. I've picked a background that's just crying out for a little crochet sunshine and I'm going to put my sun up there in the sky and now I need some photographs. Oh, this was such a great trip. We took it a couple years ago and uh, I'm just getting around to scrapbooking it now. So of these five, I really just need two. Here's a cool trick. I love to pair up the horizon of the background of my photograph with the horizon of the background of my photo paper. It's such a nifty way to make a photograph pop right out of the background of the paper you're using. Um, this one actually looks like it was part of the photo. For those of you interested, this is the Sandy Lion Far, Far and Away collection paper that I've got here. And I think this is supposed to be an orchard in Sicily or someplace like that, but for my purposes, it's somewhere in Western Canada. And this is cool for two reasons. One, we got to the highest point on a mountain and put our toes on it. And two, we were much closer to the sun than we were on any other part of the trip. So I'm going to put the sun right on top of this photograph. I'm going to go with the train, I think. I like the way it looks, almost like it's charging through the orchard. And I'm going to put our feet in the sky. And I'm just going to add a couple of bits of notation. That red thing is an arrow just pointing to a mountain peak. And one more little note for the second photograph, and then I'm going to glue it all down, and it's done! Okay, so the other thing I thought I was going to do um, is I would, uh, we've done one scrapbook with um, the little applique sun, and the other nifty little application for this sunshine is to actually create an applique. Now I have this hoodie that I love the color of, but um, it was just a cheap little hoodie, and I bought it with the intention of putting more stuff on it. So the first thing I'm going to put on this hoodie, and maybe there will be several more uh, tutorials where I create things and glue it onto this hoodie, <laughs> is um, it's going to be this sunshine. So I'm actually going to sew it on because I want to show you how simple it is to sew these things down. Um, this is pretty much where I want my little sunshine to sit. Um, it's right like up on the sort of the top chest area. 
and um, and other things that I, I put on this um, this hoodie down the road are for just gonna, I'm just gonna fill in everywhere so anyway I'm gonna, I like it right there so I'm going to grab my thread and a needle and I'm gonna just start sewing it on doink 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 okay so sewing needle thread and my trusty scissors I'm gonna snip off a nice long length of this yellow string and put that aside I'll thread my needle there we go and I'm going to double thread this um, I tend to do that with most sewing projects I think it just makes it stronger plus double knotting it at the end is really easy and just so it doesn't move around I'm going to grab another needle because I don't have any pins handy but needle pins all the same and I'm just going to sort of tack it down to the hoodie with this sewing needle just so I know that that's where I want it to stay. I'm going to start down here at the bottom point furthest away from my tacking pin and I am going to just do a little tiny whip stitch all the way around. I'm going to try and just get sort of the, the very edge of the sunshine points and uh, but I mean it doesn't have to be perfect part of the super cute uh, ness <laughs> if that is even a word that's part of the, the the attraction of this is that it looks really kind of homespun um, has sort of a, a jaunty little just sort of stitched on last minute look so I'm gonna go all the way around the sunshine just doing the points and putting in little tiny stitches as I go and I will see you guys on the other side. So there you go! Uh, one quick little applique, a little tiny embellishment for any project you've got going on right now. This is going to be my become my new Decora sweater, so I'm going to start making stuff all summer long and sewing it down to my little uh, my little hoodie here so when the cool weather starts I'll have this brightly colored super fun hoodie to wear everywhere I go um, thank you so much guys for tuning in every week like you seem to be doing we really love making these videos we have a lot of fun here keep the suggestions coming um, I am working on a few of your suggestions right now and uh, hopefully I'll be able to upload those videos soon too um, but yeah so anyway keep stitching we'll uh, we'll see you again really shortly and we'll make something else together thanks guys bye